What is up you guys? It's Jericho and welcome to my channel. So I'm doing this video. It's a very, very last minute video. Um, I was watching a video by Raven Elise. Uh, she's somebody I subscribe to. I really like her channel. She made a video about making money on YouTube. And it's one of the many videos out here where everybody talks about making money on YouTube. Everybody talks about their story and how they got started and now they're making all this money and now they're full time and all this other kind of greatness, which is all good and we all desire to do this we all desire to make money on YouTube we all desire it but nobody ever tells you what it's really about nobody like no one ever goes into detail about that and this ain't gonna be exactly how AdSense works or nothing like that this is just gonna be the nitty-gritty and what you need to know before you even make your YouTube channel honestly so the first thing you need to know is when you make a YouTube channel you know they they change the, monet the monetization stuff so all that's different now and then you gotta have a thousand subscribers and or 240,000 watch time minutes in order to be eligible for monetization now. I cannot say that. So that's true, you definitely need to have all that. And also, the first thing you need to know before you sign up for your YouTube channel is when you sign up for YouTube and you monetize your videos, you officially have a business. Nobody tells you this. Everybody tells you and makes it seems like making money on YouTube is great. It is. It's great money. It's residual income, honestly, because your video keeps making money as you get videos. And you keep getting paid off the video and the work that you did one time, you keep getting paid off of it month after month. So that's residual income. And residual income is great. Um, but everybody tells you that, you know, oh, just make money. Oh, I want my videos to get views and all this. But no one tells you, like, when you start a YouTube channel, you are you technically have your own business. So you, you kind of work for Google, but you kind of don't. So um, that's the first thing. Second thing, when you uh, make a YouTube channel and you monetize your videos and you're making money, good money, like if you're just making like pennies, like this doesn't even apply because it's just pennies. But when you start making, when you make $400 or more in a year on YouTube, you officially have to have write-offs. You gotta be, con you're considered a business. So once you've made $400 in a year, you, um, you'll get a 1099 miscellaneous form in the mail anytime tax time comes like around the time your w-2s come from your job you will get a 1099 from google when i got one i didn't know what it was i didn't even know i was supposed to get one uh, i should have known that obviously the irs gonna want some hit their hands in something because that's just how the government is they want anything they can get their hands into so if you're making money on youtube trust me they want their hands in your pockets there as well as if not if not having their hands in your pockets at your job is enough they gotta they gotta um put their hands in your pockets on YouTube too, okay? Like we just can't win out here in these streets, we just can't. So I got a 1099 in the mail and I look, I'm like, what the heck is this? And I, if I had it, I'ma just, I think I got mine right here. I'ma show y'all what it looks like. So this is what you're gonna get, I'ma hide my address. This is what you're gonna get in the mail from Google. It'll say that it's from Google and it'll be like important tax return document enclosed. When I got this, I'm like, Google? Tax return documents? What do they mean tax return documents? Why do I need tax return documents? And when you open up the tax return documents, I can't show you guys this because it has the amount that I made on here. But it's gonna look like a W-2 and it's, it's gonna be a 1099 miscellaneous form. And you're gonna have the amount that you made in box number seven. If you don't know what a 1099 is, you can look it up on Google and go to box number seven. Box number seven says non-employee compensation. And if you read at the top, it says, amount shown may be subject to self-employment tax. Didn't know this. If your net income from self-employment is $400 or more, you must file a return and compute your self-employment tax on a Schedule SE, 10, a Form 1040. It says, if no income or Social Security and Medicare taxes with withheld, you are still and you are still receiving these payments, see Form 1040ES. It's so confusing. Individuals must report these amounts. You must report these amounts as explained in box seven on this page. It says box seven shows non-employee compensation. If the amount in this box is self-employment income, which it is, report it on a schedule C, which is a 1040, 
and complete schedule SE form 1040. See, like, it's so confusing. Like I said, nobody tells you this stuff. And it says you received this form instead of a W-2 because the payer, which is Google, did not consider you an employee and did not withhold income tax, social security, or Medicare tax. That's what it says. So imagine making all this money on YouTube and being excited about it and then January you're getting this and then you find out like, oh my God, I gotta pay the IRS however many dollars back from getting this on YouTube. Like, it sucks. So when you file, your taxes like say you work a job but you do YouTube like me I have a part-time job so I file my w-2 as normal with tax act I do it myself every year but you gotta file this too which means you gotta sign up for the self-employed tax act which costs more than the free you can't file self-employment taxes for free okay you gotta pay more money to do so so make a mental note of that you're gonna have to pay more money to file your taxes for one because ain't nobody gonna file self-employment taxes for free like they do regular w-2 just enter and go like it's not easy anymore so I had to pay for the $60 tax act plan in order to get the self-employment deductions and to get the schedule C form and the 1040 form because all that stuff is not even available to you on the free TurboTax or the free tax act that you have to get the paid amounts which I think on tax act it's like $99 for self-employed people. So just know once you start your YouTube channel you are officially self-employed so you're going to have to have tax write-offs. And in order to have tax write-offs, you're gonna have to have a home office. And if you don't have a specific area in your house where you just do that, you can't even file that as a write-off. Sorry y'all, it looks like my coloring has changed. I don't know what happened, but my memory card got full, so I had to delete some stuff real quick. I forgot what I was saying. But basically, like I said, when you start a YouTube channel, you're considered self-employed. So, and in the home office situation, they have specific details with that, like where you'd be able to write off part of your electric, you can write off um, whatever the square footage is of your office if you have a confined space for your office. You can file a percentage of your internet bill, you know, a percentage of whatever equipment, like all that stuff, they have specific guidelines that you gotta follow. And whatever you, you audit or whatever you whatever you enter in as a tax write-off, make sure you keep that for seven years. It's another thing nobody on here tells you. Because you can end up getting audited. The IRS is going to send you something years later talking about, well, we saw that you got such and such money back. We need proof that you have a business and we need proof of these write-offs. We, we need all this information and we need you to send it in. So make sure you keep all of your whatever electric bills, internet bills, home office, square footage, floor plans of your house, whatever. Keep all of that in like a file folder somewhere and keep it for seven years just in case you get audited. Getting audited isn't a bad thing. It's just they're just, you know, making sure that you really have a business that you say you have so that since you got back money. Now me, I didn't get back any money this year because I didn't file any write-offs because I'm like... I don't know what specifically I can file so I'm just not gonna file anything so I'm not getting anything back from the IRS and I'm totally fine with that because I'd rather not get back anything to, to put all these deductions in and get back like five thousand dollars which you could easily get back and then find out later that I had to pay that back because what I entered as a write-off wasn't even supposed to be a write-off okay so I'm making this video to let y'all know what it really is about like making money on YouTube is great it's an amazing accomplishment and it's great to be able to do it full time you know there's a lot of people on here on YouTube making like five to ten thousand even the fifteen thousand a month some people are making like thirty five thousand a month on YouTube can you imagine what they owe the IRS okay so when you're making that much on woo! oh oh okay I just spilled something on me you guys oh no oh man Ugh, now I'm all sticky. Let me hurry up and finish this video so I can take this onesie off. Because now it's freaking ruined. Anyways, as I was saying, so when you start a YouTube channel, just keep in mind that you are considered self-employed. So if you've made more than $400 in a year on YouTube, make sure that when you get this, this uh, 1099 that you file it, everything that you're supposed to do. If you don't know what you're doing, have somebody that you trust do your taxes don't have just some random people doing it um, you know get you a financial advisor or something if you want to be successful on YouTube you got to treat it like a business so it's really good to you know treat it like a business so I want to make this video because I've seen so many people on YouTube making how to make money on YouTube and talking about how much money they make and how this is all great and nobody talks about the downside of making money on YouTube nobody talks about this stuff okay because we all got regular jobs where they take out taxes and stuff and we look forward to tax time because we know we get money back 
But if you don't if you don't file your YouTube earnings and stuff, you can really get in trouble with the IRS. And you do not want that, okay? So I hope this video was helpful. I hope it answers all your questions. If you have any questions, just enter it down below in the comments. I would go on further, but for one, I don't want this video to be too long. And two, I am sitting here soaking in this this liquid that just wasted all over me so I really need to get out of this so if you guys like this video I hope you guys thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on snapchat to keep up with me in my daily life and I thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day